Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys a cool little add-on, a mod for your grease gun. And what this is, is the lock and lube. By the way, I'm not sponsored to make the video. I bought this because I saw them online. And as you'll see in the video, it's a great way to make your grease gun even better. And what this tool is called is the lock and lube grease coupler. Now the reason why this is different from the other grease fittings on grease guns is that it actually locks the tip here right on the grease fitting so it doesn't pop off. So here's the package it came out of. I bought it on Amazon. By the way, this product is made in South Africa. Now, it's the first time I actually get a tool made in South Africa, but I do have to give them credit. This is amazing. Now, when you buy this add-on for your grease gun, you will also receive a free seal kit for this part as well. So it comes ready to go. You just got to screw it onto your grease gun but you get the extra kit, which is nice. And by the way, this is rated at 10,000 PSI maximum. And here are a few features mentioned on the back. What I'll do is I'll put the link to the website of this product underneath the video. The first thing I'm going to show you guys here is how to install it on your grease gun. I've already loosened the old tip here on my current grease gun. And it's quite simple. You just basically screw it in. So once you have it screwed on by hand, you want to tighten it up a bit uh, with some wrenches. I'm using a 9 16 wrench that goes right on the tool and an 11 16 wrench to hold the other part of my grease gun hose. So you want to get it on fairly tight, but just don't go crazy here. Well, you might be wondering why do I need a different tip on my grease gun? Well, this tip here is different from any other tip. When you actually push this down and put it on the grease fitting, it actually locks right on the grease fitting. So you can see when I push here, it opens up the tip and the grease fitting will fit right in there and be locked once you release the lever. So what I'll do is give you a demonstration here. Once you push down the lever, you get your grease fitting right in there. And then you can see that the lock and lube adapter will just lock in the grease fitting in there. You do have to release the lever. So you can see the spindle is hanging from the grease gun hose. That's how secure it's actually keeping the grease fitting in there. I do like to use a lock and lube on bigger equipment like lawn tractors and you know vehicles and stuff like that because sometimes when you have a grease gun like this one over here you do have to hold it with both hands and it's hard if you don't have a third hand which obviously we don't. With the lock and lube you just put it in, lock it in there and then just kind of squeeze the arm here for the grease to go out. And here's another close view of that. So you squeeze the trigger or the lever, grease fitting goes right in there and it's locked in there. Now this tool here would be awesome if you work in a commercial setting like greasing heavy equipment and stuff like that. But it also works good in a small engine shop, that's why I bought it. And I thought I'd show it to you guys because we've all been using these tips here at the end of our grease guns and sometimes it's hard to even get it into the grease fitting. And what I find most of the time is the tip here after it's been used for a while, it just pops right off the grease fitting and grease goes everywhere. So I'm just going to show you a real life example of using this tool here. This Aaron Snowblower has a grease fitting right here. So what I'll do is lock on the lock and lube. And you can see if I pull on the hose, it's locked on there. Then you just grease her up. And then to remove it, you just push down the lever and it totally unlocks itself. And I'll give you a close look here before I end off the video. And you know what guys, it feels of good quality, I must say that. So I've been using another one like this for quite a while and so far it's been pretty good. I'd like to test out these products here guys before I actually make a video. So thanks for watching guys. If you've already used the lock and lube, please comment below. Let me know how you like it and also the other viewers. Again, I'm going to put the link under the video description for the website of this tool. By the way, I bought this on Amazon here in Canada. So check Amazon if you want one. I might also put the link to where I bought it on Amazon as well below the video. Check out my videos, guys. I have over a thousand videos of lawnmower, chainsaw, snowblower videos out there, tool reviews all on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on social media. Have a great day.